Hello, and welcome to In Control Simba Tutorials. In this video, we are going to go over inserting and connecting blocks in Simba Sharp. This is the main screen when opening Simba. In order to begin a new project, press Ctrl and N on your keyboard, or go to the File button in the top left-hand corner and choose New Project. On the right-hand side, there are three tabs, Console, Results, and Blocks. In the Blocks tab, you will find 10 different block categories. Open a category to find the block you wish to input. Once you have found your desired block, left-click and drag it onto the drawing board. In order to rename the block, left-click on the name, type in your desired name and press OK. If you double-click anywhere on the block, a parameter window will open. This window is where you can change any of the block parameters. If there are more parameters you wish to change that are not shown in the pop-up window, there is an arrow in the bottom left-hand corner that will show more parameters. When you are done changing all your parameters, click OK. In order to change the size or shape of your block, click on the small black box in the bottom right-hand corner of any block and drag it to change the shape. I've added a second block in order to show you how to connect two blocks together. If you hover your mouse over the small arrow on the right side of the block, a black cross will appear. When doing this, the port's information is shown in the top right hand corner of the drawing board. Left click once and as you move your mouse, a line will appear. If you wish to put a bend in the line, left click once and a 90 degree turn will occur. If you made a mistake and would like to end the line, double click and the line will end. If you have ended your line, you can click on the end of it to continue the connection process from a dashed line. To attach the line to another block, hover your mouse over the connection arrow and another black cross will appear. Left click once more and the lines will be connected. Some connections allow for a split in the line to occur. In order to complete this function, hover your mouse over a section of a line and right click. This will insert a connection and a new line will appear. You can now connect the new line to another block. If you would like to select more than one component at a time, click in any open space on the drawing board and drag your mouse. A box will begin to draw. Any component within the box will be selected. To delete all the selected blocks, press the delete button on your keyboard or right click and press delete. You may also move a group of selected blocks together by clicking and dragging them to another area on the drawing board. Thank you for listening to this in-control SimbaSharp tutorial.